Hi, everybody. Last Outrider back, finally, with the Hall of Champions in Who Are the Grey Knights, part five? Yeah, five, six, whatever. The Hall of Champions. The huge central chamber of the Citadel is Citadel is known as the Hall of Champions, a place where the Grey Knights gather to celebrate their victories and hang their trophies, where the entire chapter can gaze upon them. That sounds like an eagle trip. <clears throat> Statues of ancient heroes and glorious grandmasters look down upon all those who enter the hall. Their silent stone stairs speaking of great heroism and impressive victories. Ten thousand years of triumphs and trials against demon kind are recorded on the walls of the chamber. Spelled out in torn bloody banners, ruining crusted skulls and fragments of scattered, shattered swords. Each statue, artifact, an icon represents a terrible campaign or crusade, often still stained with the gore of those creatures that were banished and of those that died in the banishing. Paladins frequent the Hall of Champions more than any other members of the Grey Knights. These great and glorious warriors gather here to honor their ancestors and their peers. Relating deeds past and present in solemn rituals dedicated to the emperor. It is considered right and just that the new generation of heroes should stand to account under the stony gaze of the old. During these ceremonies, battle brothers will speak to the statues of the champions, offering up oaths and binding vows to prove themselves worthy. Oh, wow. On rare occasions, these acts of devotion seem to elicit a response from the statue. Yeah, ponder that one for a second. The chamber darkens and torches gutter as if caught in a sudden wind, and the shadows playing across the faces of the statues bring the carvings to life. What a battle brother sees in those cold stone faces is for him alone to know. The Hall of Champions is not just a place of honor, heroes, past, but also heroes present. When the Grey Knights defeat a great foe or mark an important event in their history, this is where they will congregate. Over the centuries, the hall has echoed countless times to the sounds of Grey Knight Battle Brothers reflecting on their victories. After cleansing the demonic forge world of Sebrum II and slaying its demon Magi, the Grey Knights gathered in the hall, hanging the thirteen twisted iron masks of the Magi on the wall to mark their triumph. When the Grey Knight sealed the void well on Kapolos, ending the thousand and one days of night, they brought back a fragment of the jade capstone used to close the breach as a symbol of their victory. Perhaps one of the greatest trophies of the Hall of Champions is the skull of Iremachach, the demon Ramaj of Nalu and Iraminta was one of the few creatures to penetrate the outer circles of the Ebb maze world. Fear of the demon reaching the sacred heart of Ebb prompted the great knights into a long and costly battle to vanquish the demon. For a year, an entire brotherhood of the chapter hunted Iraminach Minna, minions through the labyrinthine streets of Ib, vanquishing his lieutenants and casting down the cults raised in his name. When at last the Grey Knights defeated the Demon Prince, they found his spirit, they bound his spirit to his skull, 
Since that day, Iraminach has hung on the wall of the Hall of Champions, bound with wards and glyphs as scores of acolytes endlessly chant the spells that keep the demon imprisoned. From this vantage point upon the wall, Iraminach is forced to watch the triumphs of his foes and their victory rituals while he seethes with the hatred and silently howls within his prison of bone and sorcery. Wow. There you go. That gives you a glimpse into the Hall of Champions of the Grey Knights, which is apparently constantly has a hundred acolytes chanting in there around this uh, skull to keep him in there. Until next time. Oh, what is next time, you asked? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. Next time is going to be the Sanctum Sanctorum. See you then. Bye.